Hello everyone and welcome. Today we have a 2009 Volkswagen Jetta. All keys lost. So I got two keys cut and we're gonna attempt to program these keys with no working keys on hand. First thing we wanna do, we're gonna go to the mobilizer section of the 608 Volkswagen. Just turn on ignition. Let's go automatic selection, read VIN number. So this is a Jetta. And let's check where it's made, whether it's Mexico or Germany. And the way you can find out is you're gonna go outside, open the driver door, and there you go. And this one is manufactured in Mexico. So. Okay. So, we're gonna go to Mexico Jetta, 2005 to 18. Let's go ammo scan. Let's just read it real quick. Sometimes it helps to put the hazard lights on so the computer won't go to sleep. Oh, it's taking longer than usual. So prior, this car has three keys. Okay, click erase. Just erasing the codes. And let's go back. Hot function. Oh, that's add key, got it. Let's go control, mobilizer, automatic selection. This is our mobilizer type, okay. You wanna select all keys lost by OPD. Okay, there's our pin code and CS code. Put a blank key in the programmer. Hit OK.
Hindi lang siya eh. Yeah. There's the second key. I'm so gonna take that, put it in there, and head OK. Now that's a dealer key. Only doing two. How many keys do you want to learn? I'll learn two keys. Okay, there's the first one. There's the second one. Come on. Okay, so I only took one key for some reason. We're gonna wait until this finish. And then maybe I can add the second key. Okay. So that's the failed key. Let's try this one. Okay, here's our learned keys working. See what's going on here. Let's go back. Add remote control. I want to hit the unlock button. Okay. And now I want to hit any button on the key fob. And then wait for the. Maybe should be on. Let's see. All right, let's do this again. Let's add a key. All right, let's try remote control learning. All right, that means we got the wrong frequency. Now it says succeeded on the machine. But let's try it out. Up. We want to try to add the second key. Now that we have a working key.
Yes, let's generate a dealer key and put the key in there. Turn off ignition and then turn on ignition. Place the dealer into the key slot of the programmer. It is. Uh, this key now. Alright, this key now starts a vehicle and let's start our first key. That one also starts a vehicle. Alright, we are done here. We programmed both keys. The remotes were a different frequency. Um, however, I was able to find one that actually works, which is this frequency right here. That's the one that worked on this car. So. All right, thank you for watching.